Hey everybody, it's Laura from Hair Hardware, and today I'm going to show you how I made this really pretty pink cheer bow using our new scatter plot spangle bow strips and a gem center adhesive wrap. I'm going to start by ironing on two pieces of Mystique fabric to three inches, three inch wide grow grain ribbon. And we sell these with the heat and bond adhesive already applied to the back. So all you have to do is peel the paper off the back and cover with a pressing sheet. And then you can iron them onto your ribbon. I'm using about 29 inches of ribbon for this bow. I'm going to iron one side, I'm going to flip it around, and then I'm going to iron another piece of fabric to the other side. These are really easy to work with. They're already cut to the exact width and length that you need. All you have to do is peel that paper off the back, and it's ready to be ironed on with just a regular household iron. And because spandex is very sensitive to heat, you definitely want to make sure you cover that with a cover sheet. Okay, so now that this fabric is in place, I'm going to use one of our new patterns of spangles. And these come on a plastic carrier sheet. And all you have to do is peel away the back. It's on a clear carrier sheet to hold all the spangles in place. And then you just rest it right on top of your ribbon. And that will hold it all in place while you iron it on. So cover it with a pressing sheet again. And now you're going to go over it with your iron. And spangles iron on very easily to spandex. It's a very smooth surface that they take very well to the fabric. Just make sure that your iron is on the hottest setting and you use some medium pressure in each spot. So once you have it ironed on, it is a warm or hot peel product. So when you peel away the carrier sheet, all of those spangles will stay stuck to your spandex. Now you can go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Place the spangles right on top. And if you're not familiar with spangles, they are basically a holographic dot that has just as much light reflection as a rhinestone, but they are completely flat, so they are make, making cheer bows very easy to crease the center. We have them available in lots of different colors as well. Okay, so now that this one is ironed on, you can peel away that plastic carrier sheet. And then we can move on to folding the bow. What I like to do is to fold it in half and just crease the center. It makes it very easy to size your bow right, make sure everything is centered. So cross your tails. Make sure they look even, and then use that center crease that you made to help you line up the back and keep it straight. And when you make a cheer bow, you want to work the center back and forth with your hands, and then use a zip tie to hold the center tight. When you pull the zip tie shut, you're going to want to pull it about halfway shut so that if you need to make any adjustments that you still have time to do that. OK, 
Okay, once you're satisfied with it, pull the zip tie as tight as you can get it and trim the back. I'm going to add a ponytail holder to the back with hot glue. And for the center wrap, I'm going to use these adhesive gems. These are really neat. They're very sparkly and look very beautiful for a center wrap for a cheer bow. They come in a sheet that you can easily cut apart to one row of gems, two or three, whatever you're looking for. And they do have, they are self-adhesive, but for a cheer bow, I always add extra glue and that I've never had one pop open. So you're gonna place it on the glue and I wrap it around and let that the adhesive work for that. It's just the ends that I add the extra glue. So you can trim off what you don't need and add some more glue and press it shut. And there you have your gem center for your cheer bow. And now for these tails, I'm just going to do a quick angle cut for these. make sure that you get them proportional and your cheer bow is complete.